<laughs> Yo, oh my god. I'm definitely finna put this at the beginning of the vlog. Like, even though y'all can't see me, I know y'all can't see me, but tonight has been a night and I just want y'all to know that I love y'all. I appreciate y'all and I hope y'all have a great, wonderful New Year's. But this is how my New Year's is going. The whole night while we was there, I kept having panic attacks. Let's go, I'm finna go now, type. Gunshots from the front end, gunshots from the back end, gunshots from the side. My consciousness, and I'm just like, we got shot, stop shooting, we got shot, stop shooting. Hey, I'm going this way, they going past me. Next thing you know, they ain't turn around. Hey, I know you got a dress up for the club. Hey, waiting on it, come pick you up. What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Naini, a.k.a. F-W-X-N-A-I-Y-H underscore. If you got it, then you got it. If you don't, then you don't. And today, I'm here with a little story time. A story time that I been was supposed to, you know, come out with or whatever. So, today, this is a story time on how I led the police on a high-speed chase. I'm going to get to that and how I got to that. So, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe if y'all haven't already. We on the road to 1K. Now we on the road to 100K. Scratch the 1K. We on the road to 100K, okay? Okay. But anyways, let me get to the story. So this was the day before um, New Year's Eve. And, you know, I haven't been out in a while since the last situation. And I'll tell you about the last situation as well. Sometime. I don't know when, but yeah. And... I decided, like, since I haven't been out in a minute, I was just like, okay, why not go out? You feel me? Celebrate the New Year's, bring the New Year, and right, like, you feel me? So, <clears throat> we ended up getting dressed. It was a pajama party. It was a pajama party and stuff, but we thought it was at a building, but it wasn't at a building, but we was going to take our chances on going anyway. So, we get there. You know, we everybody in their pajamas, everybody in the it was like a little apartment complex or whatever. So um it, it was like a oh I'm skipping parts and stuff. I'm sorry. The parking arrangement was like it was like a hill that go downward, but it was a one way parking arrangement. Like, you know, the apartments on one side and then some more apartments on the other side and the parking right here and then it's the, the driveway in the middle. It was a one way going downward down the hill or whatever. We couldn't find a park there, so I ended up parking my car like across on the other side where the other apartments was at in a like big parking area or whatever. So, you know, we go in, everybody drinking, everybody lit or whatever. But throughout the whole night while we was there, I kept having panic attacks. Like, I just had to keep going out to the balcony to breathe like i just kept having panic attacks i did not know what was going on or why i kept having panic attacks but i just kept having panic attacks so <clears throat> this when we all have fun or whatever it now it's like one two o'clock or whatever because the party ended at two something two or three something or whatever and people get to arguing at the end of the party Everybody want to sit around, wait around, and watch the fight. I'm telling my crew that was with me, like, come on before y'all get left. Like, but they're like, hold on. We da -da 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 -da. I'm like, no, bro, come on. Like, what is y'all trying to wait around for? Y'all waiting for something bad to happen. Like, okay, they finna fight. Y'all see the video later. Y'all hear about it later type shit. So, <clears throat> they ended up still staying there. I just said, forget it. I'm finna go get the car, and y'all about to get in the car. By the time I get the car and drive it in the middle of the alleyway, y'all should be on the way to the car by then. So, two girls start fighting. And my crew over there watching the fight, watching, the, like, making videos and stuff, watching the fight with the other everybody just watching the fight everybody just taking videos and stuff like everybody scattered every which way every which where like i'm just like what in the world am i supposed to do now so then that's when um i had the car in the middle or whatever and 
I'm still yelling out to them, like, where y'all at? Come on, like, my crew, let's go. I'm finna go now, type. Next thing you know, gunshots from the front end, gunshots from the back end, gunshots from the side end. Mind you, I'm inside my car with my uh, car door open, yelling out to them, like, come on, come on. Everybody walking around and stuff. When the when the shots let off, everybody ducking and stuff. Mind you, I'm in my car. I'm under the st steering wheel at that point. Like my whole body under the steering wheel, my head by the uh the gear. Like where the gear at? I don't have like a regular gear where you just do that. I got the buttons or whatever. So I was good enough to like be in that little area right there. So I'm guessing while my friend was on the way to get in the car, she got shot. Like through the front windshield or whatever. So she got in yelling like, I got shot, I got shot, my job. I done blacked out by then, I don't know what's going on. Like, I'm just like, oh my God, like, like I'm not in this world at that point. Like I don't know what's going on to after the fact. They shake me back like, I just got shot, I got shot, da 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 da. I come back to my consciousness and I'm just like, we got shot, stop shooting, we got shot, stop shooting. Mind y'all, it was not no dude fight. It was all females fighting, but the dudes just start shooting for no reason, just shooting every which way. My car has tent or whatever. It's pitch black dark outside. There was no street lights, no neighborhood lights in the little apartment area. So they could have thought it was me shooting it for some reason. So they just start shooting at my car, like just shooting at my car. It's right there in the middle, like just shooting at my car, shooting everywhere. So my friend got hit and some other guy got hit and everybody like, um, stop shooting, stop shooting. They just got hit, stop shooting, stop shooting. So they, they eventually stopped shooting or whatever. And then everybody coming up to me asking me, am I okay? Cause I'm just stuck at that point. I'm just like, what the fuck? I ain't see no blood or nothing. It's just she was holding herself like, just holding herself. She got shot in the, the chest area or whatever. And um, so she was like, uh, get out of the driver's seat. I'm gonna drive myself to the hospital. I'm like, no, you're not driving my car. The whole time I was just like, no, you're not driving my car. Nobody's driving my car. I'm going to drive her to the hospital. I don't care. My car is not gonna get, no, no. Cause once I would have let somebody drive my car, speed it past the police, what the fuck? What was I gonna do? No, it's not y'all car, so y'all not driving. I don't care what the situation is. It's my car, it's my vehicle. Thank you. So, um, I get in the car, I back all the way up the hill, like backwards, beeping too, telling everybody to get out of the way. Like, y'all see me trying to back out. I'm like, we got shot, we got shot, move. So, my crew, that's what made everybody get in the car. Them gunshots. When I, I being was telling everybody to get in the car. What is y'all doing? Get in the car. Y'all wanna get in the car with something bad happy. Like, y'all should have been listening to me from the get-go when I kept having panic attacks in the party. My body and me knew something was gonna happen. It knew the whole entire time. But no. No. But anyways, I'm backing out or whatever. At that point, the police here fast, like in a snap of a finger. Like, that was already around the corner. Like, that was their fast as hell. I'm riding by them with my hazard lights on. They going this way. I'm going this way. They going past me. Next thing you know, they had turn around. All eight of them. All eight of them turn around. I'm still driving past red lights. Got my hazards on, pressing the brake and all. Her brother, mind y'all, by this time, her brother is in the passenger seat. He got his hand on my um, on my leg or whatever, pushing my, my leg down on the gas. Like, keep telling me to go type shit. But she in the back seat, like, no, stop. You ain't gonna do nothing but make it worse. We already got gunshots in the car, da 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 Like, just stop, like, just stop. So I'm just like, yeah, I'm finna start breaking so they can see, like, I'm trying to stop type shit so they won't be on the type time when we stop the car or whatever. But it did end up eventually, like, you feel me? We ended up stopping over a bridge or whatever. And when I stopped, everybody had their hands and their bodies outside the car, like, stop, don't shoot, don't shoot, don't shoot type shit. Cause we could have had a gun, we could have had a gun. So the police said we could have had a gun. So that's how they, that's why they had to do it the way they had to do it type shit. 
But um, um, they ended up getting her out the car, stripping her, stripping her in the middle of the street to the Eminem Scott there or whatever. Then they ended up taking me into questions, questioning it. My jaw, I'm, I'm shaking. Like I'm out of it. I'm shaking. I'm just like, what's gonna happen to my car? Is she okay? Just asking hella questions like, am I in trouble? I was just trying to get her to the hospital because I didn't know where she got hit at, but I know she got hit. You feel me? Just asking them questions. They like, oh, you good, but we just got to uh, investigate it. You feel me? We just got to investigate it. So I'm just like, okay, I'm still shaking and stuff. At that point, my phone did. Like, people missing their phones. We still missing, like, two people that's supposed to be in the car. Like, it was just hectic at that time. But then they ended up telling me to get in the back of the uh, police car. I sat in there for like a good couple of hours trying to figure out like, what am I going to do? Like, why? Why me type? You feel me? Like, but yeah, so they ended up calling forensics. Forensic came and searched my car and made sure there wasn't no gun and make sure I wasn't the victim, like the person that was you feel me shooting or whatever so after that had got done they was like we free to go or whatever so i ended up going back to the house dropping everybody off and leaving like i needed space to myself because that was a hectic night when i tell y'all that was a crazy hectic night that was a crazy hectic night and I regret it happening. Like, I'm going to insert some pictures of my car when it had happened. I'm going to insert some pictures of when I was in the back of the police car, too. So, yeah. But make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. That's the end of the story time. I'm going to get back to y'all with another video soon. And I'm out.